congratulations on, on your jersey win. Just talk us through through the week in general for you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite funny because I was talking to John Locke about it the other day and uh, two years ago we tried as a team to get into breaks every single day and, and we couldn't get into breaks to save our life and uh, this year I managed to get into four of them and uh, you know that's the only, that's really the you know the just just the, the way I managed to win the jersey is uh, is just by getting into breaks and taking the points it's obviously obviously I'm not the best climber out there but uh, you know it's a, it's an opportunity and you, you got to take that and uh, you know make it count when you can so and that, that's that's just the end of it really. You seem to have a real knack of getting in the right breaks at the right time. It came back to the Nationals last year, um, Olympic test event, and that was just before for this year. What's what's the kind of secret behind that? Oh, I don't know if this is a secret. You just you learn how to read a race, and uh, you know you can kind of you feel it. And uh, you know so I've, I've missed it loads of times, and I've messed it up loads of times. But it's, you know things just fall fall together at the right right place at the right time, and uh, and there you go. But yeah, it's just something you uh, you learn through your career and. You know, I think as you get older, you get better at it. So, because there was such a young team with Rafa kind of this year, was there more onus on you to go out there and get the results and kind of lead the way and be by example? Well, I, th I think the, the whole year has been like that. Just leading by example is, is, is you've nailed it on the head right there. It's uh, it's kind of it, it, it doesn't actually mean winning races. It's just uh, you know riding, holding your position in the bunch, and, and you know riding riding correctly and. Uh, you know, I think that kind of gave a lot of the boys uh, a lot of confidence going into the first, second day after I got in the, that first move just like that and, and took a jersey. It's like, well, if he can do it, then, you know, we, we can do it. And then Hanley showed that the next day by getting in the next move. And, and so that's really, really good to see. And uh, I felt a bit bad that I kept, <laughs> I kept hogging all the, <laughs> you know, getting into the breaks. But, you know, they kind of, they, everyone knew what I was trying to do. So yeah. When it comes to the Tour of Britain, say, Sean won the jersey last year, you won it this year. Is it now such a focus that getting publicity and, and getting a jersey is maybe, maybe outweighs winning a stage or a top ten on GC? Uh, GC, yeah. I mean, GC for me, I, I, you know, I've ridden GC a number of times, and uh, you know, whilst I've gotten top tens, that's that's great. It's not really something that, you know, a pe I, I don't really, I, I don't really look at that anymore. Uh, it's kind of. Yeah, getting into breaks is good, and, and getting maybe winning a jersey or a stage. A stage is really what I would like, but it's so hard to do that when the race is so controlled. That uh, you know, a jersey is probably your best. Mm -hmm. You know, a sprint jersey or a mountain jersey is probably your best bet. Um, so yeah. And you've risen, ridden the Tour of Britain side. Just talk us through the change this year. That everybody sort of commented on how you noticed the, the crowd oh, and support. The crowds have been incredible. Uh, you know, there's you know from the very first day it kind of set the mark and you know you go through little villages there'd be thousands and thousands of people there and it was just phenomenal you know it was really was amazing I, it has to come down to you know the fact that we got you know Bradley's obviously won the tour and, and then with the Olympics and not not just the, the cycling in the Olympics not the success we've had there but just the Olympics in general the fact that that's that's you know it's been such an amazing thing for sport in this country that hopefully just it grows and it doesn't you know the next couple of years don't diminish it and you know uh, yeah, it's been amazing. Do you think your success and the success of Pete Williams has shown that there's a narrowing gap between the elite domestic teams and the world tour teams? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put that down to. Like, I wouldn't say there's a narrowing. I mean, it's, there definitely is a narrowing, but it's not maybe as severe as what us winning those jerseys looks. Um, there's still a big gap there. Uh, it, but Endura and then have, have shown that you know that, that they're willing. They can. Uh, you can compete on that level. So you know. It is narrowing, but it's still quite a, a big gap, I would say. The domestic teams have more than held their own. Oh, a absolutely. It's uh, it's actually been really cool to see. And I was talking, Pete Williams and I were talking about it earlier in the day. And you know, it, it is pretty, uh, it is pretty impressive to see. You know, all people just going for it and going for the attacks and not really afraid of, uh, of not just the riders, but the distance of the race because it is a lot longer than what we we race in the UK uh, on a weekend basis. Thank you. Cheers. Any more questions? Oh.